Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. With the new masking that is now found in Lightroom, it's relatively easy to isolate something in a photo and change the color of that something. But sometimes, particularly if that something doesn't have any color in it to begin with, it seems to be impossible to change the color of it. Well, in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do exactly that. Before I begin, I do want to mention that I am going to be one of 15 different instructors taking part in this year's Lightroom Virtual Summit. This year, the summit takes place between October 3rd and October 7th. Over those days, there's going to be 45 different classes taught on Lightroom. And during those days, you could watch all of those classes for free. Each of those classes will be online for 48 hours for you to watch at your leisure for free. Now, VIP passes are available. A VIP pass will allow you to watch those videos forever. Also, there'll be PDFs available for each of the uh, videos for VIP members. And for VIP members, each of us instructors are throwing in some freebies. For example, I'll be throwing in some presets and the raw files that I use for one of my videos. So to watch for free, all you need to do though is register for the virtual summit. And in the description below this video, I have a link to this website and you could register for free. Now back to the subject at hand, changing color. I mentioned that with the new masking, it's relatively easy to isolate something in the image and change the color of that something. For example, I have this image. Let's say I wanted to change the color of the background. I would go to masking. I would select the subject. Then I would invert it by clicking this little checkbox. Then I would go down to hue and I just move this slider and I'll change the color of the background very easily. I'm going to delete that mask. But let's say I want to change the color of her hat. There's really no color in her hat to begin with. This is where it gets tricky. First, I got to select the hat. Now I could get a brush and try to go around the edges and everything and do it perfectly. But I think the way to do this is to use two different mask, masks and have them intersect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the subject first. Again, I have a nice selection of the subject. Now I want to select the hat, but I want it to intersect with the existing uh, mask that I already have. And to intersect a mask, what you could do, you see how we have this add button and the subtract button right here? Hold in your alt or option key, alt if you have PC option if you have a Mac, and that will turn into a single, single intersect button. Click on that, and we're going to get a brush. Now, wherever I brush, like if I brush over here because there's no mask on the background, if I brush there, nothing will happen, right? Nothing happens there. But if I come over here, see how it's intersecting with the original mask. So that's where the mask will be. So I could come outside the lines over there and it won't matter. Now I have auto mask on because I don't want to select the, the leather um, strap or whatever you call that that's going around. I just want to get the hat. So we'll do this. I'll do, do this relatively quickly. Um, let's turn feathering up a little more. So I'm not going to do it quite perfect, but I'm going to try to do as good a job as I can. In here, get this. Now I could take auto mask off. This might help in here. Put it back on over here. And I could take auto mask off again. Here. up in here with auto mask off. All right, let's say this is good. I'd probably doing this, if I was doing this on my own without doing a video and I wanted to change the color of her hat, I would spend a lot more time making sure this was perfect. But let's say that is perfect. All right, now I mentioned if the object you're trying to change the color of doesn't have any color in it to begin with, it's difficult, watch. It's not really doing anything. It's just kind of looking stupid, right? <laughs> so what you could do, what I suggest you do, is come up here to exposure. Pull exposure down. And then come over down here to saturation. Put saturation up. 
Now you'll see you're able to change the color, and that's the little trick. So you could come in to and fix your mask where needed. Like I said, oops, see, I went. Now, if you make a mistake like I did, you could use a minus brush. You could just come over here and click erase, but you could hold the alt or option key, and again, you get this minus brush. And then you could come in and fix your mistake like that. So you could clean up your mask is basically. So again, you want to come in and try to get a good job, do a good job everywhere. Sometimes auto mask, it leaves these little speckles. So you have to take auto mask off maybe in parts to get it to look better. But we're improving it. You can see if you take your time, you'll get it. Get in here. Like that. There we go. So that's a little better. So you come in now, you could change the color. And if you don't want to use you, you could come down here and use this color swatch as well. Change this like this. Whichever one you like. Like that. So that's how you change the color of something that doesn't have any color in it to begin with. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.